Yo, whoa, what's good, everybody? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Super Secret Shh. Salsa. <laughs> and I am back once again with another reaction video, man. Now, today's reaction video is brought to you by subscribers. You know, it. My lovely viewers, man, spamming my IG up, man, and it is 10 incredible houses you won't believe exist, as you can see in the title, man. This video is going to be crazy, man. Hopefully, we could visit one of these houses or even own one of these houses one day, man, but we can get to the video, man. The original video will be down in the description below if you do not want to watch this video, but come on, man. I know y'all trying to watch this video. Also, put a request video down below in the comments to spam my IG like y'all been doing. Or spam my Twitter, man. They're going to be in the description down below. You you feel me? You already know, man. Don't forget to push the button. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. You heard what she said. But with that being said, we're going to get to the video, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Yeet. Oh, oh. Yeet. <laughs> I they top say five best. Is where you make it. I am a simple hut by the beach, a floating home on the ocean, or even a treehouse. Home can be anything that you want it to be. That's a fact. It is that one place where you come to rest and unwind after a stressful day. It's a place that you can share with your loved ones. Yo, man, I know some of these houses gonna be crazy. To. While some of us have pretty traditional houses, be crazy. some people out there have gotten oh very creative goodness, in making man. their homes and came up with ideas that are out of this world. Yes, sir. Today we're going to be looking at ten of those ten incredible, incredible houses, houses you won't believe exist. exist. Ooh, let's let's get it. everything when it comes to living Yo, spaces. you know you got to have something in Miami, man. And Yo, Miami got some crazy and even houses. underwater in one. Stay tuned all the way to the end and don't miss my number one pick. It's a house that I'm 100% sure you didn't know it exists. Damn. So, let's ah. begin. Let's yeah. begin. Let's go. Number, number ten, ten, baby. The house on the, the rock. house on the rock. When we oh. think of houses surrounded by water, we either think of boats or island living. Well, okay. the first unique house of this list is in the middle of the water, but it's standing on a rock. You can that, find it it's on a, the it's an River interesting in house. I wouldn't. It got I'm not gonna lie. I would want to stay there. Big publications such as the Daily Mail and National. I'm not gonna lie. This is more like a. If you think that having a house on top like a, of a rock is one, one like a enough, one, like a little vacation type, you know, not it even a vacation. Back in probably like a day type. When a group type, of friends so. tired of swimming against the current of the Drina River decided to get some rest on top of the rock. They immediately got bothered by the rough surface. Yeah, this is not like a back the shore to bring back some like a house with right like elevators and stuff and like boards vertically and use them as cover. And like stairs and all over. Like it's that, just a house on a rock. Boys came up with the idea for Which is pretty interesting. I'm not even going to lie. The house is now know. one of Serbia's most treasured places. Oh, Serbia. It's a great spot to connect with nature, enjoying the river and the forest. If you like nature, you 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 like Number the house. Nine. Number nine. Let's go. The carrot house. Carrot house. I told you we have some narrow houses on this list. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you oh, to Carrot nah. House, the narrowest house in the world. What? This space was created by Jacob Seseni, a Polish architect who claims this is the world's narrowest house with only 122 centimeters long at its widest point. Oh, and nah, the that's fool, crazy. This if you're claustrophobic, narrow, you cannot live there, brother. This is what makes it so space efficient and interesting. No shot, man. According to Shazeni, all the furniture had to be perfectly customized and pushed to fit I mean, into space. I mean, it is just a it's house, for just like the house on the rock. For someone narrow who likes house, to work and stay at home. Or the narrowest house, actually. More specifically, actually. this house is designed for but traveling like, writers who need their own space. For the, for the yes, people that, that need their room. One flight of stairs takes you into the study room and bathroom. I feel like this is not going to do it. Gonna it'll be it'll be a cool place to stay, like I it's said, like one day. It's definitely narrow, but the architect you know, definitely days. made it quite cozy and inviting. Who would have thought you could fit a house into such a small space? Well, the house was intended to stay up for just two years. It's already a Warsaw icon and a landmark on the tourist. Yeah, like you could obviously house. like you could make money. Number eight. Number eight, man. The Hobbit House. The Hobbit House. All right, there are quite a number of Hobbit-inspired homes and hotels yeah. around the world. For sure. While the J.R.R. Tolkien saga really made an impact on society, and it only makes sense to bring these spaces to life. The Hobbit house I have on this list is the one in Wales. The Hobbit house. Because it's warm, eco-friendly, and most That's impressively, crazy. it only took four all, months. I know to all these houses, and if you charge, well, no way lives in them, them and you charge you can find money this to home stay on in them, a bit secluded from the it makes some good money. Modern day living. Like, people actually, Simon yeah, Dale, yeah, people will pay to stay in their house. made a home on this place to lead a more sustainable lifestyle. The framing of the house is made of oak fittings of the Dale hey. family gathered. 
The house looked nice inside. Made out of mud and stone. They look also, nice. The house's insulation system is made out of Low fireplaces. Like the on the and John, you know. Maybe I could get these guys to make a house for me. They make it sound <laughs> so easy and cool. I mean, who wouldn't like to live in a place that's straight out of a movie? Hey, look the at the house view is powered too. powered by solar panels and the running water comes from a nearby spring. What? The family really took sustainability that's to pretty cool. Lovely here. Solar power. Number seven. Seven. Let's get it. The glass, the glass house. house. Oh. How would you feel now instead of walls you just had windows house? all around your room? I bet you'd have some glass house concerns, would be nice but let's be to, honest, to stay you would benefit in, you know? a lot from that natural light coming through. For a designer in Tokyo, this crazy idea turned into oh, a reality when he built the glass house, also known as House N.A. That sounds pretty fine. As his name applies, this house is fully surrounded by glass instead of walls in a treehouse-like structure. That's fine. There's a bit of climbing to do when it comes to accessing the rooms. The only thing is, you can't be doing too much in the house, you know. You can't be doing this too much in the house, you know. This definitely sounds like the adult and modern version of a treehouse. If you walk by this neighborhood, there's no way you're going to miss it. I know Japanese houses oh, yeah. are quite different in general yeah, for compared sure. to other houses for around sure, the world, for sure. but this house definitely stands out. Number, Number six. six, man. Falling water. Falling water. Sometimes when you go hiking, you come across okay. places where you really like to set up a camp and stay for a this while. This house right here looks like fire. Sometimes your with Yo. that space becomes so big that you start wondering nice. what it would be like to make a home in that spot. Yeah. Something like this happened there on Pennsylvania, oh, nah, where an architect built a house, house into yeah, an like existing it. active like waterfall. Right Perhaps I feel like after this house, or even angry to know that the house is coming up, I'm gonna be like, yo, to make a home, but crazy. Don't get upset. I'll definitely know. stay here. Though. This house actually stands in harmony with its natural surroundings to the point where it's now considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is a house I'll it definitely stay in. It was built by architect here. Frank Lloyd Wright under the ownership of the Kaufman. Now the house is uh, is debatable, but prior to this house, this one right here, this one, this summer camp where the Kaufmans would spend the nice. holidays. They contacted Wright to give the nice place little a waterfall. Look, look at the, the structure of the house. Now this house hides in the forest, and if you look closely, you might even think it's part of nature itself. The oh, that's crazy. The area served as a foundation, and the house was coated in earthy tones to make it blend with the foliage of trees around. Ah. Uh, the design of the house respected the already existing trees. I ain't gonna trees, lie to you. You're you gonna have some animals nature. around there. Today you can schedule a tour of the house, so you should definitely add it to your list of places to see if you. You're gonna go outside and just see like a panther just chilling. Number five. Number five, man. Let's get it. The airplane, the airplane house. house. Apparently, airplanes Yo, are not only good for flying you know across what? the ocean, I, but they also make for great living spaces. Before. When an airplane reached but the end of its flying days, it was brought to Costa Rica and was turned into a two-bedroom home. Oh, in Costa Rica. In the lush tropical Damn, see? After all, you can only expect to have a lot of windows by transforming the cabin. I was in Costa Rica not too long ago, man. I definitely home, would have wanted Campbell, like this. Bruce the owner of this house, would tell you it's still a work in progress. Bruce says jetliners can and should be transformed into wonderful homes. How's that? He spends oh, six months okay, on his Costa Rican home, while the other six months he spends them in Japan, where he also plans to transform I another see. aircraft into another house. I mean, it don't well, look too bad. Like Bruce, you know, it it'd be really cool bad. to see more airplane houses around the globe. That's Number pretty cool. Four. Number four. Let's get it. The clock tower. The house. clock tower house. Next on this list, a house oh, inside the a house clock tower in one of the most tower. iconic cities in the United States, Brooklyn, New York. <laughs> Oh, so this Brooklyn? 650 square meter penthouse is one of the most expensive. Oh, that's crazy! I didn't even know that. Brooklyn borough in New York. It Brooklyn. was listed at 25 ah. million dollars back in 2010 when it was put in the market. The price I didn't even know that. That's down, crazy. It was finally sold at 15 million dollars. Damn, Third 15 million. A unique view of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens, making it a very iconic oh, spot for anyone who loves the big house. Oh, they got the whole view. I guess the owner of the house is never late to appointments. Can't be late when you live inside Look at the this tomorrow. dining room right here. Like, number three. Number three, man. That was a nice Flintstones house. house. Flintstones house. And once again, another house Yo. inspired by things you watch on the screen. The Flintstones house. I guess That's some of you are funny. a bit too young to know about this show, but back in the old days, there was a cartoon and even some movies called The Flintstones. Yeah, if you didn't know about The Flintstones. the adventures of this peculiar family living in the Stone Age. If you haven't watched it, you should check it out. The show was quite a phenomenon to the point that some fans out there decided to build a house similar to the one the Flintstones had. Damn, that looks pretty dope. In Hillsborough, California, and it was even declared a public nuisance, and with such a unique look, there's okay. no way you'll if you ever drive by it. There are even some statues of dinosaurs outside, but That's in crazy. the Stone Age setting in which the Flintstones lived. That, 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 that looks some dope, man. That looks dope, man. That looks dope, for real. They believe this Flintstones house is house, man. with the rest of the fancy houses <laughs> yeah, but that would do. and well... These people just have no taste. However, these hoity-toity neighbors won't have an easy fight. 
Florence Fang, the owner of this place, will do whatever it takes to keep this house up, with dinosaurs huh. included. Maybe yeah, if you built that house, man, you gotta keep it up. Say, yabba dabba do. And I feel old just by saying that phrase. <laughs> Now it's time for the day's best pick. Now it's time for the best pick, man. The picture I have oh today gives us the illusion God. of underwater living. You see this house, right? Water can be very calming and inspiring, and humans can never get enough of it. So why Yo, not that, live in it? Yo, this looks right? crazy. I went and searched for some of the most amazing this looks houses crazy, that are connected yo. to water, and I came across the floating seahorse. The floating seahorse. Number two, Number two man. The floating seahorse. The floating seahorse sea is a yo. floating home off the coast of Dubai. Nah. It's inside a group of man-made islands nah. called Europe that are part of a bigger This house fire right here. Each of this these islands is smaller fire. Versions of countries Straight from around the globe. I the would definitely stay in this house. Great Britain. Anyone living in it it's in Dubai, so that's, that's definitely one of the destinations on, on the bucket list, list man. Anyone's breath away. And I definitely gotta take, the oh my god, look at this. You're actually living underwater and even has some tea with a very exotic marine environment. Nah, bro. Who needs a garden or something like that? You know it's bread, though, to stay in this crib the right here, man. Be a success in you the know there it's some bread to stay in this made. house. I guess Dubai really took it one step further when it comes to the concept of houses. Yo, this technology will that's, surely come in handy that's fine. This is dope. Massive flooding. I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only five seconds. The best for last. Yeah, look, hit that like, subscribe, man, on this page right here. On my page right here, you get 10, 10 years of amazing luck, man. Number one. Number one, man. Let's get it. The egg house. The egg house. I told you I'd show you houses you wouldn't believe exist, and here's one that's really going to blow up your nah. mind. The egg house in Beijing, China. This odd piece of architecture was a man's response nah, to China's a... rising real estate prices. Uh, this man couldn't find an affordable home, he went out on really the sidewalk house, and made this egg-shaped like, home. What do y'all consider I mean, house, what else do you need for survival house, when like... you have a bed and a roof over you? And probably egg-shaped as well. Ah, uh, that's true. He a even has a lights roof over and books. You. Yeah, like technically. Eggs. The most impressive thing that it only cost him $964 to make it, and it's powered by solar energy. Oh, it's that's crazy. That's fine. Actually, steel right there. This story really but it's shows like, ah, oh, man, I can't do it. I, I can't do it. it. I need a, I need a house with, properties. you know. And for you, what is the most important thing? I need a house with like multiple rooms live on and stuff in the bathroom. Like, the where's this bathroom? Where do you go? That's our video for the day. Where do you go to the bathroom? See you all next time. Later, everybody. I don't even know, man. It was an interesting video, man. You already know. That's the video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and if you don't this time, you will next time. I'm out.